In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to use the Blowfin crypto exchange on mobile app. If you're looking to learn how to trade futures on Blowfin using the mobile app, I made a separate tutorial for that and I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new account, where to go if you want to buy some crypto using fiat, and how to transfer assets onto the platform from another wallet over the blockchain. Then I'll show you where you can find the market types and pairings, and I'll take you into the spot market user interface. From there, I'll demonstrate how to buy and sell crypto using market orders, limit orders, and how to use a trigger order as a stop loss. All of that and more with some tips and tricks along the way. If this is your first time signing up on Blowfin, I left you a link in the description of this video, as well as in the pinned comment down below. Blowfin is often running promotions for people who are signing up for the first time. These can be nice deposit bonuses, giveaways, airdrops, and more. If you use my link when signing up, you'll be eligible for the current promotion, whatever that might be by the time you're watching this video. You'll also save 5% on all your trading fees for the lifetime of your account. So if you use my link when signing up, you'll be eligible for the current promotion, you'll save 5% on all your trading fees, and you'll be supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto exchange, including Blowfin. I also left you some timestamps in the description down below, so at any point, feel free to skip ahead to a section that might be most relevant to you. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. If you'd like to save 5% on all your trading fees for the lifetime of your account, just come down here to the pinned comment and click on this link right here. Then you'll be redirected to this page where you can create your Blowfin account by using an email or a phone number. So simply choose an option that makes the most sense for you. Then come up with a good password, make sure to read through the terms of service, check this box here, then click on sign up. If you're watching this video on your phone, just come down here, tap on comments, and then tap on the link in the pinned comment right here. And once again, you'll be redirected to a page where you can create an account by simply using an email or a phone number. Once you're ready to create your account, come down here, tap on this box, then tap on sign up. Now at the time of recording, KYC and VPNs are not necessary to use the Blowfin platform, but that could change in the future. So towards the end of this tutorial, I'll show you where to go to get verified just in case it becomes necessary by the time you're watching this video. When you sign into the Blowfin crypto exchange from your computer, you can come to the home page by simply clicking on the Blowfin logo, top left hand side of the screen. Right here below trade now, you'll find a QR code icon. If you hover your mouse over top of that, a QR code is going to drop down and you can scan that QR code with your phone in order to get the app. But I'll also point out that you can get the app from the Google Play Store and you could also get the app on the Apple App Store. So simply download the app to your phone, install it, and then sign into your Blowfin account. And I'll see you on the next step of this tutorial. Once you sign up and sign into the app, you'll arrive on this page here. You'll be able to see some navigation options right at the top here. You can see that they've got buy crypto here, copy trading, activity center. But if you scroll all the way over here, you'll see a section that says rewards. If you tap on that, this is going to bring you into the rewards center where you can claim some bonuses. And as you can see, some of these are nice and simple. You can get two tether for first deposit. First trade is two tether. Some of them aren't very meaningful, but there are some nice deposit bonuses if you scroll down. And those are the ones that typically benefit users the most. Now, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find some notes down here and you can read through these, see what some of the terms and conditions are regarding some of these bonuses. So make sure to come on in here. If there's any of these tasks that you're going to be completing anyways, just make sure to come in and claim your bonuses. And also keep in mind, if you use my link when signing up, you're also going to be getting a 5% discount on all your trading fees for the lifetime of your account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap here on the back button. If you'd like to buy some crypto using fiat, you'll find a buy crypto option right here. Just go ahead and give that a tap. 
Then on this page here, you can select the cryptocurrency that you wish to purchase using fiat. At the time of recording, there's just a few options here. You can do Tether, Ethereum, or Bitcoin. You're probably best off just to buy some Tether. Then once the Tether's in your account, you can use that Tether to buy whatever cryptocurrency off the spot market that you want. And of course, I'll be demonstrating all of that in this tutorial. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap right here on Tether. Then on this page here, simply type in how much you wish to spend on crypto. So I'll do something like this. Then you'd come down here and tap where it says buy. Now on this page here, you can choose your payment method. And these are third party service providers. They can be convenient, they're perfectly fine, but there are a few things to know about these. The first thing is, is that you'll have to create an account with the service provider that you select. And during that process, you will have to go through KYC. So you're going to have to submit a government issued document such as a driver's license or passport in order to verify your identity with that third party service provider. Once that's complete, you can attach your payment method, complete your purchase, and then your crypto will be sent into your Blowfin account. Now, I'll also mention that at least at the time of recording, the fees for using some of these service providers are not the most competitive. So if you're purchasing a larger amount of crypto, you're probably better off to buy it on a centralized exchange and to just have that tether transferred into your Blowfin account. And from there, you can trade on the spot market. But if you want to use one of these, you just simply tap on the service provider that you wish to use. Blowfin will likely be showing you the best deal up at the top. So in my situation here, that would be Alchemy. So what we would do is we'd come down and tap on buy USDT. Then we can confirm our order right here. If everything looks good, we come down here, tap on this little box, and then we tap on buy USDT. And as you can see, Blowfin is now redirecting me over to Alchemy. So here's where you'd have to create your account with the service provider, go through KYC, attach your payment method to complete your purchase. Once your purchase is complete, that third party service provider will be sending your crypto into your Blowfin account. And that can take a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and back out of here just like so. Now, once your funds arrive in the platform, you'll be able to find them in your funding account. And to get there, we'll come down here, bottom right hand side of the screen, we'll tap here where it says wallet. And this will bring you to an overview of all your accounts on Blowfin. So down below under accounts, you can see all the accounts here. So you have funding, futures, spot, copy trading, as well as earn. And your funds will be in the funding account. So we can either tap on funding underneath accounts, but you'll also find it up here next to overview at the top of the app. So we'll just tap on funding. And here's where you'll find your funding account. And this is where your crypto will arrive if you purchase it using a third party service provider. To deposit crypto assets onto the Blowfin platform, we can get this done by coming down here, bottom right hand side of the app and tapping where it says wallet. Then on this page here, you'll notice a deposit button up near the top underneath your balance. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. And this will bring you over to the crypto deposit form. So the first thing we need to do here is choose the crypto asset that you wish to transfer onto the Blowfin platform. So we'll tap right here. So in my case where it says tether. Then you'll get a list of different cryptos that you can deposit onto the platform. Simply tap on the cryptocurrency that you wish to transfer onto Blowfin. I'll just demonstrate this with Tether, so I'm going to come down here and tap on Cancel. Next, you'll need to choose a network to do this transfer over. And we can do this by tapping right here where it says Network. Then Blowfin will give you a list of networks that it currently supports. Now, some of these networks are going to be less in fees and faster than others. But the main thing is make sure that you match the network on both sides of this transfer. So wherever you're sending the crypto from, make sure that platform supports the network you wish to use and that you select it and match it to the network here on Blowfin. If you send from one network into another, you will lose your coin. So that's a very important step. So for this demonstration, I'll demonstrate with the BET20 network, which is the Binance Smart Chain. Sometimes it's called BSC. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. Now Blowfin is generating a deposit address for Tether over the Binance Smart Chain. And I can see my address down below. You'll see a QR code. So if you're doing this over a smartphone, you can always scan your QR code. But for this demonstration, I'm going to simply copy my deposit address by tapping right here on copy. And what I'll do is I'll demonstrate by sending some Tether from my MetaMask wallet onto the Blowfin platform. So I'll bring MetaMask into frame. Now that I'm on my MetaMask wallet, 
I'm going to have to toggle this to the Binance network. Remember, on Blowfin, I selected the Binance network. And inside my MetaMask wallet, that's exactly where I have a small amount of Tether. So I'm going to come up to the top of the app where it says Ethereum mainnet. I'm going to tap on that. And I'm going to select the BNB smart chain. Now I've toggled my MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain. And as you can see, I have a very small amount of Tether inside my MetaMask wallet on the BNB chain. Now the network matches. So I'm sending this Tether out of MetaMask on the Binance network. And of course, the deposit address that I selected on Blowfin is for the Binance chain. Now, if you're doing this from an exchange or another wallet address, just make sure to match the network. So if you're sending from Coinbase or Kraken, just make sure to select the network that you selected on Blowfin. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, tap on these two little arrows. I'm going to tap right here where it says send crypto. And now I'm going to paste in my Tether deposit address for the Binance network on Blowfin into this box right here. So I'm just going to hold down and paste. Now I'm going to come down here and tap on next. Now up at the top where it says BNB, I'm going to tap on that. And now I'm going to tap on my tether balance, just like so. Now I can choose how much of this tether that I want to send from MetaMask over to Blowfin. I'll just go ahead and tap on use max. And I'm going to come down here and tap on next. And now I can review the details of this transaction. And because I'm doing this from MetaMask, which is a decentralized wallet, I'm going to have to pay a gas fee for this. Now, when you're using MetaMask, the gas fees paid out of the native token for the network. So I'm currently on the Binance Smart Chain and the native token is BNB. So I have to have some BNB inside of MetaMask on the Binance Smart Chain to cover this gas fee, which I do. So whatever network that you're using, just make sure that you have some of the native token of that network to cover the gas fee for this transaction. Now, if you don't have a MetaMask wallet, I do have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to set up and use MetaMask. So I'll be sure to leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. So I'm gonna come down here and review the details of this. I can see my estimated gas fee right here, which is only 0.000155 BNB in order to cover the gas fee to confirm this on the blockchain. And that's a very small fee. And that can be the benefit of using some of these other networks versus the ERC20 network. So this looks perfectly fine to me. I'm gonna come down here and tap on send. Now that transaction is submitted and soon the Tether will be on its way from my MetaMask wallet on the Blowfin using the BNB smart chain, which is known as BEP20 or BSC. And now the transaction is complete. So I'll go ahead and bring Blowfin back into frame. Now, once the Tether arrives on the platform, we'll be able to find it in the funding account. So to get there, we're gonna tap on the back button, top left-hand side of the screen. And that brings me back to the overview of all my accounts. And as you can see, my balance just got updated to 196 Tether. And if you look under accounts, you'll see where it says funding, my Tether has arrived. If we tap on that, this brings me into my funding account and you can see my Tether right up at the top there. So just remember, Wherever you're sending the crypto from, whether it's a different wallet or an exchange, just be sure to match that network. You don't want to send from one network into another or you will lose your crypto. And also a quick tip with this. If it is your first time sending assets onto Blowfin, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives, as you intended, then you can have the confidence to send in larger amounts. Before buying and selling any crypto on the spot market, you'll first have to transfer your assets from your funding account and into your spot account. Now this is an internal transfer, so there's no fees to get this done. So to transfer our assets, we're gonna come down here, bottom right hand side of the app, we'll tap where it says wallet. Now in this page here, you'll see a transfer button up near the top next to deposits. We'll tap on transfer. And this brings us over to the transfer form where we can internally transfer our assets between our accounts. So you can see at the top here where it says from, I'm already set to funding, but if I wasn't, I'd tap on that and then I would select the account that I'm transferring from. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on back. Down here, you can see that I'm set to transfer into futures, but I want the spot account. So I'm gonna tap here on futures, then we'll tap here on spot. Now I'm set up to transfer my tether from my funding account into my spot account. If you're transferring a different asset, just tap right here where it says tether and then transfer whatever crypto you want from your funding and into your spot. Tether works fine for me, so I'm gonna close this out. 
Next, we'll choose how much of the asset we want to transfer into our spot account. You'll be able to see your available balance right here. So if you want to transfer a custom amount, just tap on this box and type in how much you wish to transfer. If you want to transfer all of it, just simply tap right here on max. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap here on done and I'll tap down here on confirm. And success, I transferred those assets from funding and into spot. So now we'll come back up here, tap on this button. And now you can see I'm back to the overview of my accounts. And now my assets are in the spot account. If I tap on spot, we can now see the tether inside my spot account up at the top here. To get into the spot market and view all the different pairings, we can do this by coming down here, bottom of the app, tap where it says markets. Then up at the top, you'll see where it says spot next to futures, tap on that. And here's where you're going to find all the different pairings that you can trade on the spot market. At the time of recording, all of these pairings are quoted in Tether. So this means if you want to buy a crypto using these pairings, you'll need USDT to buy the crypto. And if you sold a coin using these pairings, you'd receive Tether for the sale. In the future, there might be more market types and you'll likely find them displayed up at the top here. But for now, the tether pairings is what you have access to on Blowfin. So simply tap on the pairing that you wish to trade, or you can search for a pairing by tapping on the search icon right here. Then just simply type in the ticker of the pairing you wish to trade. So I'll tap right here and I'll just do BTC, which is Bitcoin. Then if I scroll down here, you can see under where it says spot, that BTC USDT comes up right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And this will bring you into the spot market user interface where you can buy and sell on the spot market. Of course, right here, you'll see your price action chart. That's showing you the asset's performance over a selected time frame. You can see mine's currently set to a 15 minute time frame, but if we want to change that, we could just tap in the time frame we want to view. So if I want a four hour, I'll tap on 4H and now I've changed the chart to a four hour time frame. This means that each candlestick down below now represents four hours of time. If I want a daily time frame, I'll tap where it says 1D, and now I've toggled it to a daily time frame. So each one of these candlesticks down below now represents a day of time. If you want to find additional time frames, just tap right here where it says more. And this is where you'll find your additional time frames. Down below here, you'll find some indicators. So you can see that I've already got the volume on down below. And we've got moving averages on as well. If you want to add another indicator to the chart, just tap on the indicator you wish to view. So if I wanted the MACD, I'd tap on that. Now I'll scroll the page down just slightly. Now you can see that I added the MACD to the bottom of the chart. If I want to get rid of it, I'll just tap on it again, just like so. And now the MACD has been removed. If we scroll down a little further, you'll find your order book. And this is showing you where market participants have placed their buy orders as well as their sell orders. And they're doing that by placing limit orders, which I'll be demonstrating in this tutorial. On the left-hand side of the order book, we have what's known as the bids. These are price points that market participants have placed their buy orders at. On the right-hand side here in red, we have what's known as the asks. These are the price points that market participants have placed their sell orders at. When a trader comes along and executes a market order, they're matched up with the best available price off of this order book and the trade is executed immediately. If you want to see those trades being executed immediately, you can tap right here on trades. And here's where you can see trades being executed in real time. All the buys are coming in in green and all the sells are coming in in red. If you want to get back to the order book, just simply tap on order book. And then down below here, you can choose if you're going to be a buyer or a seller of an asset. Either one of those buttons is going to take you to the order form. So I'll demonstrate as a buyer first by tapping on buy. And here's where you're going to find the order form where you can be a buyer or a seller. You can use different order types. You can see I'm currently set to market, but if we tap on that, you can also choose limit, advanced limit, and trigger orders as well. And I'll demonstrate a couple of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the X. You can toggle between being a buyer or a seller by tapping on buy or sell at the top of the order form. And of course, you can choose the amount of the asset you wish to purchase in this amount box right here. Or you can even just use the slider bar like this to choose how much of your balance you wish to spend or how much of the asset you wish to purchase. I'm going to show you how you can toggle between those two options here shortly. On the right hand side, you'll find your order book again. So your asks are up at the top in red, the price points that market participants are selling, and the bids down below in green, 
price points that market participants have placed buy orders. That price point in the middle is the price that the asset is currently trading at, also known as the mid price. So all the asks up above will be greater than the mid price and all the bids down below will be less than the mid price. So first I'll demonstrate a market order. These order types are nice and simple. They'll execute immediately at the best available price off of the order book, whether you're buying or selling an asset. So I'm already on the order form here. And the first thing I'll point out is you can change the pairing. So the asset that you want to buy or sell by simply tapping right here where it says BTC USDT. Then you can select the coin that you wish to either buy or sell from this list right here. But I'm perfectly fine demonstrating with Bitcoin. So I'll tap on the back button, bottom right hand side here. Next, we'll make sure that we're set to market. You can see that I already am, but if you're not, just tap right here and then you would choose market from order type. Next, we'll choose if we want to be a buyer or a seller of the asset. I'll just demonstrate as a buyer first. So I need to come down here to the amount box and choose how much of the asset I wish to purchase. We can also tap right here. So in my case where it says BTC and you can choose to toggle this over to USDT by simply tapping on it. Now I've set this box to be quoted in Tether. So now I can simply choose how much of my available balance that I wish to spend on the asset. So choose whichever method is best for you. Right here, you'll be able to see your available balance so you'll know exactly what you're working with. So if I wanna spend $100 on Bitcoin, I tap here on the total box and I just type in 100 Tether like so. Then I would tap on done. Alternatively, you can use a slider bar right here and you can slide this wherever you want. So if I was to slide this up to 52%, that would put 52% of my available balance into this order. If you slid it up to 100%, that'd put your entire balance in. For this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and do 100 tether just like so. I'll tap on done. And once you have your market order set the way that you want it, you just tap right here on buy. Now you'll get an order confirmation so you can confirm the details are what you intended. This looks good to me, so I'm gonna come down here and tap on confirm. And just like that, I bought some Bitcoin at the best available price off of the order book. Now, if you want to use a market order to sell, we'd come up here, we'd tap on sell, make sure we're set to market. Then we can come down here, tap where it says USDT. I'll switch this back to BTC. And now I can choose how much of my Bitcoin that I wish to sell in this box right here, or I can just use the slider bar. So I'll go ahead and just slide this up to 100%. That means I'll be selling all of my Bitcoin and then I'd come down here and I would tap on sell. You'll get order confirmation, confirm the details are what you intended, and if they are, tap here on confirm. And just like that, I sold my Bitcoin at the best available price off the order book. So nice and simple. Now I'll demonstrate a limit order. And a limit order will give you the ability to choose a price point that you wish to place a buy order or a price point that you wish to place a sell order. But you will need the price of the asset to reach your order price before your order will fill and execute. So the first thing we need to do with a limit order is choose if we're going to be a buyer or a seller. So I'll start as a buyer first by tapping right here on buy. Next, we'll tap right here on market. Then we'll tap down here on limit. Now I need to choose a price point that I wish to place a buy order at. And just for the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that I want to place an order to buy Bitcoin down at $60,000. Maybe I believe Bitcoin's going to have a short term pullback down to 60,000. And if that happens, I want to be a buyer. So what I would do is I would just type that price point into price right here. So I'll just delete that. And we'll type in 60,000, just like so. Next, we can choose how much of the asset we wish to purchase in this box right here. Or down here in total, we can choose how much of our available balance we wish to put into this order. Alternatively, you can just use this slider bar right here. And as you can see, it'll calculate everything for you. But for this demonstration, I'll come down here to total and I'll type in 100 tether. And I'll tap here on done. Now that I have my limit order set up the way that I want it, I'm going to come down here and tap on buy. Now we'll get our order confirmation details. So you can see right here that if the price of Bitcoin comes down from 62,200 and hits 60,000, this order is going to fill. I can see how much Bitcoin I'll be buying if that was to happen. And I can see right here that my order type is a limit order. So this looks good to me. I'm going to come down here and tap on confirm. Now I've placed that limit order onto the order book. So in the future, if Bitcoin comes down to 60,000, 
that order will fill and I'll be buying some Bitcoin. If Bitcoin doesn't come down to 60,000, I won't be buying any Bitcoin whatsoever. If you wanna see your open order, just come down here and tap where it says open orders. And here's where you're going to find all your open limit orders on the order book. At any point, if you wanna cancel these, just come down here and tap on cancel. And just like that, I took that limit order off of the order book. Now I'll show you how you can use a limit order to place a sell order. So once again, we'll come up here to the top of the order panel, we'll tap here on sell. If you're not already set to limit, we'll tap right here and then select limit. Now we need to choose a price point that we wish to sell our asset at. So let's just imagine for the sake of demonstration that I want to sell my Bitcoin at 65,000. We can see that it's currently trading at 62,240. Maybe I think it's going to come up to 65,000 and perhaps I want to be a seller at that price point. So I'll come over here to price and I'll type that in. We will go like this, 65,000. No, not 60, 65,000, like so. Next, we can choose the amount of our asset we wish to sell in this box right here, or we can choose to sell the total USDT value. And alternatively, we can just use a slider bar. So this demonstration, I'll just slide this up to 100%, meaning that I'll be selling 100% of my Bitcoin if that price point gets hit. Now that I have my limit order set up the way that I want it, I'm gonna come down here and tap on sell. Confirm the details are what you intended. So of course, in my case here, you can see my order price at 65,000. If Bitcoin comes up to that price point, I can see the amount of Bitcoin that I'll be selling. This looks good to me, so I'll tap here on confirm. And now I've placed that limit order onto the order book. So if Bitcoin comes up to the price point of 65,000, this order is going to fill and I'll be selling my Bitcoin. If you wanna see the details of your order, just come down here, tap on open orders, and here's where you're going to find your limit orders. If you wanna cancel it, just tap on cancel next to the order you wish to cancel, just like so. And just like that, I took that order off of the order book. Now I'll show you how you can use a trigger order as a stop loss on the spot market. So the first thing we'll do is we'll come up to the top of the order panel, make sure we're set to sell. Next, we'll tap right here where it says limit. And this menu down here, we'll tap where it says trigger. Now we're ready to set up a trigger order as a stop loss. So the first thing we need to do is choose a price point that's going to trigger Blowfin to sell our crypto for us. So in this particular situation, we can see that Bitcoin's trading at 62,303. And for the purposes of the demonstration, let's imagine that I wanna set a stop loss somewhere just below 60,000, maybe something like 59,990. So what I'll do is I'll come up here to where it says trigger. I'm gonna tap on that and I'll type that price point in. So we'll go 59,990. So if the price of Bitcoin was to come down and hit 59,990, that's going to trigger an order to sell my Bitcoin. So now I need to choose how much of my Bitcoin I wish to sell. So I'll just come down here and use this slider bar and slide it up to 100% like so. So if that trigger price gets hit, I'll be selling all of my Bitcoin. The next thing I like to do is make sure right here in the middle that it's set to market order. This means that if your trigger price gets hit, your coins will sell immediately for the best available price off of the order book. By default, you're likely already set to that. But if you're not, you would just tap right here where it says market order, and then you would select it in this menu down at the bottom. I'm already on market order, so I'm gonna tap on cancel. Now that I have my trigger order set up the way that I want it, I'm gonna come down here and tap on sell and we'll get our order confirmation. So we can see right here that this is a trigger order. I can see the amount of the asset I'll be selling. If my trigger price of 59,990 gets hit, and of course the order price is going to be market, which means the best available price off of the order book. This looks good to me, so I'm gonna tap right here on confirm. Now I've set up that trigger order as a stop loss on the spot market. If you come down here to open orders and tap on that, that's where you'll find the details of your trigger order. So in the future, if Bitcoin does get below 60,000, hitting 59,990, that's going to trigger this order to sell my Bitcoin at the best available price off of the order book. At any point, if you wanna cancel that, you just come down, tap on open orders, and next to your trigger order, tap on cancel. And just like that, I canceled that trigger order. Now, when you're done doing all your buying and selling, you'll be able to find your assets in your spot wallet. And to get there, you'd come down here, tap where it says wallet, then you'd come up at the top, you'd tap on spot. And here's where you're going to find all your assets that you're buying and selling on the spot market. As easy as that.
To get verified on the Blowfin platform, you just come up here, top left hand side, tap on the Blowfin logo. Then come down here and tap where it says identification. On this page here, tap where it says personal information verification. Now you're almost ready to begin the KYC process. So for this process, you're going to need a government issued document, such as a driver's license or passport. You're also going to need to take a selfie. When you're ready with your documents, just come down here and tap on continue. Next, you'll need to select the country that issued your document by tapping right here. Then select it from this drop down menu, or you can search for it in the search bar. After that, tap on the document that you're going to be using to verify your identity. On this step here, you're going to have to take a photo of that document and submit it to Blowfin for verification. Once Blowfin has had the chance to verify your documents, you'll be all set and your account will be verified. And there you have it, your introduction to using the Blowfin crypto exchange on mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other Blowfin tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.